from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Morialli and Hitch. All right, welcome everybody. Another edition of the Morielli and Hitch podcast here in the Thai Cats Audio Network. I'm Mike Morielli. That's Rob Hitchcock. Hey, we're coming off back to back wins for the Thai Cats. Ain't we good ones said, too. We, we haven't, haven't said, said that, that in a this long year. time. <laughs> no, we have, we have. And we're laughing. We're not laughing at them, right? We're not no, laughing. this is good. We're getting this to talk about really, some positive stuff. Finally, like. Six games they won this year. We've had not a lot of good things to talk about. But now the energy is back. Six yeah. games could yeah. make the playoffs with what eight, and yeah. uh, could make it with less. They could make it with seven <laughs> or I think six. I, if- yeah, I think I have this. I looked at the standings this morning, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. But just, just hypothetically, Ottawa beats Hamilton twice. Saskatchewan loses, Ottawa's in. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's crazy. Like, That's I, I'm crazy. almost because they have, yeah, because they'll have the tied wins with Saskatchewan. They'll beat Hamilton twice, and they'll go through at six and twelve. That's crazy. Like that is crazy. And they played Hamilton twice, and and Calgary plays um, Saskatchewan twice the last two games, and and Saskatchewan or uh, Calgary wants to get home field playoffs. Or like for the playoffs, they want the first home uh, playoff game. So it's crazy. And then, ha- and then another scenario: Hamilton wins one, Saskatchewan lose one. They're in. Hamilton's yeah. in. Um, and then, but if they're tied, if, Hamilton's in. Yeah, and if Hamilton and Sus- and Ottawa both win one game each, and Saskatchewan wins both, Saskatchewan's in. <laughs> You're kidding me. Because they'll have eight wins. That's right. <laughs> oh I did that this morning. God. Quick, I'm like, you know what? Oh my god, there's so many scenarios. But, it's ridiculous. But let's talk about the positive. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, let, let's talk about the negative first. The first half. I don't know if you Oof, watched the game. Well, no, offensively, was a disaster. Six, Sixty yards total offense. First half. A disaster. You, can't, you 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 can't do that. I don't know how they did against Cal. I'll, I know how. So special teams and defense is is what what the first half. That's how they were winning. It was that's 14 how they won. To 14, seven or 14, 10 or whatever at the first half. I forget what the score was, but they Hamilton had 14 points with 60 yards. It was crazy. And I thought to myself, I'm like, this is going to be a disaster because mm-hmm. let's not forget that the elephant in the room, the last time the cats won in Calgary was when we played in 1999. Was I thought it was all three. No, maybe no, that like was Edmonton. Oh, maybe yeah, it was all yeah. three. No, you might be right. I, whatever I, it was, Danny Mack was playing. Yes. And I think his last year was 2003. So it very well could have been that, that year. But go check that out for ridiculous. us. But go get to work. <laughs> when's, the last time we, when's the last time the Cats won in Calgary? I, you, might, you might be right, but I, I heard 03. Uh, but... Whatever we say is right. We're Maybe like that, the yeah, Glenn exactly. Suiters of podcasting. Oh, oh, Whatever he's... we say, everybody believes whether it's right or wrong. Because you he know. Said, well, he said something in that other game the other day about, about something. And it was just completely wrong. <laughs> Completely wrong. These guys are in a cover three zone. No suitor. No. They were playing man to man. They weren't in and his he zone. He should know. <laughs> he should he played know. Safety. Come Butko on. He was said, a Butko. yeah. Butko. What First time since two thousand four. Oh four. So see. So I All was right. still playing. See. Yes. So was I. We so might have went I, out that night. I we definitely went out that night. <laughs> and, and, and a good time. <laughs> we were, and I and I only know this because somebody saw it on saw it on CH and said, oh. Last time it was with you and Danny, you caught a touchdown. I'm like, eh, we had yeah. a good time after. That's all that matters. Was, was Scott Cohen them with us? They must no, have Scott would have came. He would have been in Calgary at that time. So we would have been out with them after, I'm sure. Yeah, and Les and all those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we, yeah we, had a, we would have had a good time. Win or lose, drink the booze. Yeah. Um, so, that, so that's good. We got that settled. The, the, the Cats there now, I think, again – they need some good stuff to happen, but in charge of their own destiny. If they win two, they're in, right? Yeah. I think that's yeah. everybody or, understands Or one that. and one. One and one. 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 Like if uh, if Saskatchewan loses one, then they're in for sure. Gotcha. But gotcha. they have to win. But anyways, but you know what? Biggest game Friday night uh, at home against Ottawa. And Ottawa's not – they're playing good. They played They played Muncher. I've watched them. I haven't been watching much of, of Ottawa lately, but the last couple of weeks I've been watching. I'm like, huh, Trevor Harris, they're, 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 good. they're a good squad. Poor Lapo, eh? Oh. He's three yeah. and six, three and twenty-two or something. He was in or Yikes. three and sixteen. I don't Yikes. know what he was. Not good. Wasn't good. Hellboy. Never mind those. Guys. Okay. Well, but I, I think. But to your point, staying with Ottawa, 
they're not a terrible team. They've had some no. bad luck. Mazzoli went down early. They got a coaching change. Bob Dice is there. He always lights a little fire when the new coach comes in. So they're yeah. they're dangerous. You got to keep it an eye out for them. That's that's for sure. But look at the Edmonton Elks. They haven't won a game at home in about 150 years. 1100 days. <laughs> Honestly, at home. And you know well, how? The, how it, do you oh, show your face? It doesn't look like there's. It looks like there's people in the stands because all the seats are colored green and yellow, and different colors. So it looks like jackets. There's nobody there. Four thousand people, there. maybe. It's it's Nobody's sad. Edmonton there. was Edmonton was the premier. Oh yeah, premier Edmonton. Edmonton was Edmonton. It was those the, guys. You want to watch the best. those guys? Yeah, but I mean, from an organization point of view, they were the best of the best. And no yeah. disrespect to anybody else. Chris Jones yeah. is there again, right? Chris Jones is there. Yeah, he's, he's got to go good. back. Go back to university, <laughs> right? Come on. He was making probably half a million bucks in university. Come back. It's just and, and, amazing the swagger people have when they win. And when they yeah. lose, oh, they don't see you too much. Talk too much. You know what I also see? I also see before we, uh, about the, the coaching turnover in our league is still the same. Guys get fired. They got a, Then they're an offensive coordinator yeah. somewhere. Den, yeah, Benavides, different jersey. Ben, Benavides for, the, for, for BC. Head coach there for a lot of years. A coordinator, great coordinator defense. Now he's somewhere. Out. I saw him on the sidelines the other day. He's doing some coordinating. Everybody yeah. is cycling. They just go in a circle. It's like a carousel. Yeah. It's and great. they get paid. It's like, okay, well, he didn't do well there. We'll bring him in. Well, what, if he didn't yeah. do well there, well, what's he have a job for? I don't know. Unbelievable. I don't but, get it. But I guess it's, maybe it's the new. You know, you need a new a new look on life. You go somewhere else. That's it's what fresh. You need. And, you need to hire new people that have mm-hmm. new looks on life and spread mm-hmm. the wealth because – Again, I mean, how many how many kicks at the can are you gonna get? I, I love Lapo, but I mean, I don't think Lapo's gonna get a head job again. I mean, how no. can, how can you after those results? Yeah, no, the assistants can have those same results and then just bounce to the next team. And bounce he's still the next pretty team young, though. He's team. still pretty young. He's He'll young. Get a, yeah, he's a good coordinator. Winnipeg, you know, he was, he was set was set with Winnipeg. Stay with Winnipeg. Get two more, three more rings, and then then go somewhere. But. It's that's not, a you dynasty got that. you got to stay with. If you're a coach, and I get it, you get an opportunity to go be a head coach. Gone, you got to go. But man, you got something good. He was <sighs> he was good in Winnipeg. <laughs> Stick. Yeah. I, I always like him. Lapo. Me too. Been great. He got into some situations where you know, as head coach, it just didn't work out. It, no. I don't know what to say, man. It happens. Yeah. It happens. What are you gonna do? Hey, we have a special guest today. No one's yeah. telling us who it is. No. And um, they're coming on here. I think in five minutes. But and then we're we supposed that, to look at our phones. Yeah, no, nothing. For yet. some sort of announcement. Did you by chance eat that eat a sandwich yet from that place? I did, buddy. I and? did. It was delicious. And? It was del- not only that. Did I you wanted get the peppers? to try. No, I wanted to try. Yeah, I put the pepper spread. I got a nice yeah. uh, oh, the veal. Spread. Okay, I got a yeah. nice veal and a bun. It was delicious. And then I was looking around. They got lots of frozen stuff there. Lots of fresh sauce. They got everything in there. Yeah, it, that's it's a house. That, it's out the so the door when you walk yeah. in so you walk into the right it's all the where the fridge is yeah the meatballs get the meatballs oh we're gonna get the meatballs and then and then Kendall, we're not we're not pushing the name anyway I didn't say the name because I don't know Why? we're what supposed happened? to say nothing Why? So they, didn't they, got, they got a lot of no Why they got a lot of press about a sponsorship oh yeah, we need a press. they press. got a lot of press free press all Nobody that knows. is that you and I get free sandwiches that's all exactly that that's right that's, that's right I wish I have to go in there did you pay cash. You cash only, cash, buddy. Cash, cash only. only. That's cash is king. Oh, that's the yeah. best. Eh? I can only buy no, so much. Yeah, no credit. No credit. <laughs> no. Really? No credit. Cash well, my bill's three hundred and forty dollars <laughs> cash. <laughs> oh boy. Well, oh, good times. Good times, yeah. buddy. Well, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, jeez, I had something to say. Oh, well, yeah, your coffee. Just plain coffee. Already got a little Bailey's. My daughter, my daughter made this for me when she was Ava's eighteen. Now I think she made this for Father's Day. It's been in the thing a while. I love you, Dad. Something. She was about four. Still using it. <laughs> Still using it. Your video today's terrible. Eh? Why? Terrible. Fuzzy. But goes. Is this video fuzzy? Or is it just me? Okay, hold on. It might just be oh, the internet guy. connection. Speaking of fuzzy, oh look at that! That was a great. I could have told you that. Our listeners are gonna have crystal clear video, though. They are. It does look clear. You're you're fuzzy to me. This looks clear to. I look clear. Anyways, are you going to the game Friday? Are you going to the game? 
I, at this point in time, am not going. Oh, boy. Just when they but need you that to support. could change. I can change any minute. I just hadn't planned to go. But I might have an open night. So You should come can, on and I do a little... Uh, Peter Peter will get you on with me the five minutes before. We should do a if, little tangent. If that involves like being outside in the cold, I'm going to no. say no to that. No, it's inside. Where do you do it? Oh, I do, do it usually over the phone. Four? Oh, no, I, do, do I do it over the phone. I'm on the way cause... in. I can't. There's an accident on the highway. <laughs> no, it's closed down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it. Uh, yeah, I do a little pregame for four or five minutes. And then, yeah, nice. Uh, I used to do that phone. back in the day. Yeah, I used to. That's, it's you easy. Share the wealth. Come. It's your turn now. Do your thing. Yeah, I know. Got to do it. No, but it should be a good day. Good should be a good game. I, I got an open night. So, listen, I'm I'm open to that. Sometimes I like... Like I love being at the the stadium. I like watching on TV too. Like I, it's, it's I a, do too. It's a I balance. Do too. Like there's something nice about you know. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to dissuade people from going to the game because well, there's, just there's tell an experience Cado. at the game. Tell yeah, Cado and Dave we need uh, three tickets and parking pass, and we're coming. Parking is big. Parking it is. is big. Parking's gold. Yeah, but even Lottie, Lottie, I'd rather, I'd rather pay twenty bucks and park. Yeah, in come on, that. Dave, get us come to on, somewhere park. close. We're old now. Hey, do you find now? Because I do. I hate the winter. My fingers or my back. Oh, everything's sore. I can't, can't live here in the winter. Can't stand it. It's can't bad. Stand hey. it. It's bad. Wor- worst ever for me now. My hands too. Both. Everything. Oh my god. Like Even I wear gloves. Forget it. It's bad. I don't like no. it. No. But go. Are we getting close here? We got a special guest. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. So let's talk a little bit more, Rob, about uh, about some the game last night, the Bills game. Oh. Is Josh Allen not an absolute? Just it's ridiculous. Where'd this guy come from? Seventh pick in He's the first a beast. round. Yeah, two two forty can run. See him jump that guy. Oh, dude, he jump. runs like he doesn't oh. put. He doesn't shy away from nothing. No, no, that's he, a big uh, dude. He can throw. He's he's the he's the. Yeah, he's the main deal. I'm telling you, they built around him. They're good. Their defense their, their is good. Their defense is good. Hey, they fly around too. Fly around. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Mahomes, of course. You can't leave him. And he had 13 seconds last year. He came back and beat them. But I know. Uh, just the announcers saying, "Oh, you don't want to leave uh, Mahomes a minute left because he'll come down." But that interception, like he he can throw. He's a. He reminds me of Flutie. Like he just off balance, throws oh, yeah, sideways, yeah, side arm, make yeah. just makes plays. But that kid that broke on that Ooh. made that interception at the end. Uh, that, that they needed that because they're going to meet in the playoffs. It's going to yeah. be a home field advantage for Buffalo. We should go to that game. That'd be good. I went to one game in Buffalo last year. It was a Monday nighter. It was, the wind was like a hundred mile an hour wind. Uh, I think there was one pass thrown by New England. One pass. Come on. One. That's it. The wind. It was the wind was that bad. And we went to that game. We went. It was a Monday night. We got there around four thirty. I was dead tired by the game. Oh yeah, how many like, people got punched out in the parking lot? Oh, uh, not too, no, not too many. It's just a zoo there. It's, it's too a much. Zoo. Once it's a, a once zoo. a lifetime's good to go, but I, yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. tired. I was tired half time. I think some guys went back to the bus at halftime. They did. <laughs> Do they still have the troughs like the urinal troughs? It's just like a like it's like you're at a cattle farm. Do you I remember know. those I, back in the day? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I just had a bag. I had a bag tied up to mine. I just stayed in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there's guys peeing. Hey, there was guys peeing right on the floor. Or on the ground. Oh, that's disturbing. They do. That's disturbing. If you if your glove falls down or oh, you put your beard it. down, the pee drop it comes it. down. No way. Gross. Disgusting. Oh, Buck goes back. Yeah. Buck Guest go. is here. You're here for a purpose. Oh. Guest is here. Okay, Rob, check your phone. You're nothing's to have on here. Nothing's here. Nothing's there. I don't know. All, All right, right Maybe it came as a maybe it came as a uh, an email. No, I'm sure it'll come. Who do you think it'll it come. is? Who do you think it is? Cavis Reed, Rob? Who do you think the guest is today? I'm hanging up if it's him. Actually, no. Well, he'll come on. I'm going to ask him a few things. <laughs> All right, Bucko. Without further ado, would you please welcome the uh, illustrious guest, which Rob and I do not know, no. to the uh, to this podcast. And let's see if we can be wowed like we've been wowed. Oh, oh forget it. How do we, oh, how do we hang this up? How do we hang this up? <laughs> this, how do we, is there, where's the off button? Where's, hey, where's the there's button leave. Hey, off? leave. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sandy oh, beverage. You get, you get to see me twice in a week, boys. I mean, how, how lucky can this, you be? Oh. This is too much. <laughs> Why are this you yelling? <laughs> oh, you haven't even had any drinks in yet. Well, maybe you have. Maybe yeah. you have. Maybe you okay. had a couple drinks. Well, listen. 
Let's first of all welcome Sandy Beveridge to the show number 19 in your program, yeah, number one in your heart. And, yes. uh, you know, Rob, you know Sandy quite well. Sandy was behind you often. On yes, and he, off the field. Yes, he was. And he was he was he was phenomenal. He was he was a great person. I love him very much. Beverage, what's going on, buddy? We're, we're happy yeah. to have probably one of the coolest names in sports, by the way. Yeah. That, that, I get the, the Sandy Beverage cool. You get that a lot. I get that a few times, yeah. It's quite often. Well t- listen, t- tell us about um you had a long career with the cats, you left the bit early to go and do something that you're still doing now, and that's, that's right. being firefighting. Just tell me, how was that transition? Because um, to me, that's like the coolest job to migrate into when you're done playing football. It just makes complete sense. Yeah, no, it was uh, a fantastic changeover. I mean, very similar to like the locker room. We got like our own locker room with the fire department. It's very similar to the locker room yeah. with the football team. And, uh, you know, when I moved out to Binbrook, which is where I, I moved to to live uh, when I was playing, I started volunteering out here, did a couple of years uh, volunteer fire department while I was still playing. And then it was just a natural progression that uh, I figured out, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I mean, everyone would love to play football forever, but we all know that's not part of the plan. <laughs> and uh, it was a lot easier to yeah. go a lot easier to go it on my own terms, as uh, I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Is that a, did you just funny. stick us? He just stuck us with a knife right there. He got, got he's got to get us every so often. He's he's get us. Us every so often. We get him. <laughs> he's got to get us. So, Sandy, in the <laughs> you mentioned the you know kind of the team team aspect, firefighters. I got a lot of buddies that are firefighters as well, and uh, you know, hats off to you, pal. It's awesome that you're doing that. But do they do? Do you guys stir drinks and stuff like that? Do you guys have any of that going on in the in the in that yeah, room? How crazy does it? Does it how get? crazy? Is, is, it, it like is there the drinks? Is there drink stirrings? <laughs> There will be nothing like a football locker room. <laughs> there will be nothing like a Tie Cats football locker room. <laughs> but uh, exactly. we we do a few pranks here and there, but uh, they're substantially tamer than what uh, maybe we got away with back in uh, the day. That's for sure. You got to tone it down a little we bit. We would go to jail. We would oh, go to jail. Yeah, yeah we'd be in jail. Yeah, you got people to protect. You can't be doing what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. um, so, okay, who's the best... I always, you know, you see these movies, you see the shows about firefighters and everybody's there oh. and they're all cooking this big feast and they got the pot of sauce so they're making. Uh, is that what happens? Like, give me the lowdown of what it's like. In the- we like to eat. We eat well. Uh, we get some good food. We got some good cooks. Uh, we got some guys that spend quite a lot of time researching, especially if you're the new guy on the on the roster, you know, like the rookie. You uh, the, rookie. the best way to get in good with the boys is uh, if you're a good cook. Nice. See. There's two two ways. You got to bring the. You got to clean the hall, you got to clean the toilets, and you got to be able to cook. Oof. Yeah. You know <laughs> what they know. have for the toilets? They got that that blue stuff. You just shoot in the toilet and then let it flush a few times. That's what, that's what they do to clean them up. There's gonna be some bad ones in there, right? Not as bad as the the lock room, but some firefighters eating good, eating well, and then blowing it up. Not oh. good in there. <laughs> Not yeah, good. absolutely. Not like, uh, so, especially when the new rookies on the department, it seems like uh, they for- always forget to flush as well. So, oh dear goodness, let's change this subject. Uh, we're here with Sandy Beveridge, former Tie Cat safety, now a saving lives as a firefighter. You still in Binbrook though, right? I still live out here. Is yeah, that where the, your your house though? Yep. Yeah, and is that where the um, that's where the station is too? Uh, no, the station I work at now currently, I'm down on Kenilworth North. I'm down in the East End. Kenilworth and Roxborough is my oh, home. Nice. Oh, yeah. So not too far from the stadium. Oh, so you're busy. I am very busy. You, you get busy. a lot of calls. You get a lot of calls. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So, so what kind of calls would you get, Sandy? Give me give me a kind of a – well, first of all, let's start from the beginning. Are you on like a – what is it, 24-hour shift? I don't remember how it works. Can you explain to people how kind of being a firefighter, what that day in the life is? Yeah, so uh, we do work the 24-hour shift. So I go in at 7 a.m. one morning, and I get off at 7 a.m. the next morning. And we usually do, on average, about two to three of those a week. Uh, obviously, we get significant time off in between. Uh, but, yeah, so we go in in the morning, check over all the trucks, do all the cleaning of the hall. Then we got drill during the day, eat lunch, drill in the afternoon, eat dinner, and then all calls in between. And, obviously, uh, a little bit of rest time at night, barring c- calls, but... Uh, yeah, we respond to everything. Medical calls, uh, CO detectors, smoke detectors, alarm conditions, 
uh, vehicle accidents. Cats. Cat. <laughs> Cats in a tree. No, I, I don't think we do those ones anymore. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a wide have variety. You ever, have you ever been called to somewhere where you know the person, or you played with the person, or how like and I mean I don't yeah. mean, I don't mean to have any grotesque calls. No, no, I'm no. just curious if you show up somewhere like oh my god, I know you. Yeah, Carl Carl Coulter last week they had a call for him. Almost <laughs> 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 the defibrillator on it. After after his resounding speech at uh, Danny Max uh, function, yeah, he, oh he could have used maybe a little help after that. <laughs> oh boy, he oh. was hurting. He was hurting. I loved every minute of it. Uh, it was, I loved oh, every minute of it. Of course you did. You were getting him riled up. Another story. Another story. Another one, one more. more. One more. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the best. So Sandy, we gotta we gotta talk about we've talked about on this show. I think this is our like our thirty second show or something. Okay. We've done this. It's been over just over a year, and uh, we got to talk about like training camp when you first came up to camp. Like, what what were your thoughts when you were coming in as a rookie? Because we were there, yeah. and you know, I know that I know we invited you into the beer room and yeah. you had some good times. We we always we always talk about you know guys. We made guys dress up in their khaki pants and a shirt or yeah. whatever. And they come in and they serve the beer. Like what was your, what was your experience? Like tell us because I know what mine was. It was it was pretty cool. But yeah. tell us what uh, your thoughts. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Like so, I came out there only expecting to be there for the two weeks of camp. Probably because the Thai Cat sent me a return flight for the last day of camp when they signed me. So <laughs> I was like, this this probably isn't going to last too long, but. I'll make the most of it. <laughs> so I was kind of falling hitch around trying to learn as much as I could before I went back to school. I mean, I didn't end up making it there, but I remember the one day when he came up to me and he goes, uh, you got any nice clothes in your uh, suitcase? I go, no, I got like two weeks worth of clothes here. I got, I got nothing. I, I didn't think I was yeah. staying, so I, I brought nothing with me. I had like a little duffel bag, and he's like, put on whatever. The best thing you got is, and you're coming over and serving beer tonight. And I said, all right. I'm in. Yeah. All right, came, and you know what that meant. Oh, yeah. I knew what that meant. So I made, made, made the team. <laughs> came in there and uh, started serving to everyone. And that's actually the, the first time I got the nickname Frosty was from uh, Carl Coulter and Ozzy. Oz Boston. They, that's they, right. Uh, so I'm carrying around the beers. They're like, give me another Frosty beverage. And I was over there filling, yeah, up, right. filling up all the beers and walking them around. And every time the last one on the tray, that one's yours. The last one on the tray. That one's yours. <laughs> and then you got to chug it and go back and get another round for everyone else. So, yeah. And then go to dinner. <laughs> then go to dinner with eight in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was the beauty of Ronnie, right? We didn't have to eat dinner. We just had to sign in for dinner. He didn't give a shit if we ate. But we had to get there. And then from there, straight to meetings. And, oh, my God, I felt bad for you guys. Well, I, I kind of felt bad. At the same time, you were welcomed into the family. Yeah, so it's no, kind of a right of passage. You know? It's yeah. true. And, and yeah. there were certain guys, that you, and they would come in and sign at the last minute. Like, the last minute before dinner was finished. And then, like, beeline it to the meetings. But, yeah, it was... Uh, uh, sleeping, oh, yeah. sleeping. It's, take notes. Take take notes. I'm sleeping. <laughs> it, it definitely felt like a rite of passage, that's for sure. Like, you're you're kind of accepted to the group. You're like an outsider until you get brought in, and then you're, like, part of it. So, yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. Well, you had a heck, heck of a career, Sandy. I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was nice to... It was nice to watch and, and to see... Oh, how many years? Was it nine? I, I, how many years did you uh, play? Eight. Eight years. Eight, okay, Two, yeah. 2003, years. 2010. Yeah. yeah, so pretty good run. All in Hamilton, right? All in Hamilton. You didn't, you didn't go elsewhere, did no, you? No, yeah, stayed the whole time. Yeah. yeah. He didn't and take off like us. <laughs> didn't take, well, you you didn't really take off. You were no, forced out. Yeah, I was I forced out, to. but I had a couple bounces here and there. You know how it goes. But you ended up marrying a Thai Cat cheerleader. Right, which is my wife, you know, forbidden fruit when you're when you're playing. But yeah. your wife's a lovely lady. But you guys met, I guess, obviously yeah. during your time here playing in Hamilton, and then went on to to get married, have a beautiful beautiful family. And I, what is her thoughts of everything? You know, what? I never really thought about. You know, we're so concerned with the locker room and all the guys in the locker room and everything staying there. But I try. I never really think about what the kind of the people that are one step removed, like the cheerleaders or like, you know, people just outside the organization, the front office. Like what was her interpretation of her time with the cats? Uh, she loved her time there as a cheerleader. Yeah, she thought it was great. And uh, 
the best part about her is she's very accepting of everything that we did because she, she was kind of around. <laughs> she, she was kind of around it quite a bit. She got to to see uh, what we were up to here and there, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I met her when I first got here, and we dated for off and on for a couple of years, and then we kind of went our separate ways, and we re reunited later on, and uh, things actually went they went fantastic, and uh, now we got two beautiful daughters, and uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, who would have thought? I mean, it's kind of your prototypical football player cheerleader uh, scenario, but it wasn't anything I was looking for. I don't think she was looking for it either. I just kind of fucking fell in place. No. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah, she was looking for it. What she saw, what what kind of knuckleheads we were. But then at the same time, she now she knows it all. There's no secrets. It's perfect. You're good to go. Yeah, I, there is no secret. Yeah. She knows it all, and uh, some of it I'm sure she doesn't want to know, but she knows it. <laughs> Well, it's funny. Uh, you're in I, good I, hands, uh, Sandy. You're, you're in good, good hands uh, with us. My, my wife, who's who's not from here, she's from the U.S. I met her in Vegas, of all places, <laughs> and uh, I was there for a stag with my buddies. So my buddies did not expect me to go to Vegas, fall in love, and get married to to someone I met there. So they they uh, probably misbehaved a little bit too. But she, the wife, has seen it all. And she, yeah. that's, it's almost better that way. It's a, I remember. It's a I remember the day when Mike met her in Vegas because he he sent me. He called me and says, "Yeah, I just met somebody." I'm like, "Oh, okay." What well, he goes, "No, I, this is it. I, this is it." I think. I said, what do you mean? This is it? You met her like an hour I may ago. I sent you a picture. I hope you don't have it on your phone. Still. You know what? I, I wasn't going to say it. you. Pro you did, but I don't have it anymore. I wish I did. I'd put it on the screen. He did send a nice picture. You know what? I'm going to look for that because you did. Hey, you, Jen, if you're listening, he did send a picture. I don't know where you were. You might have been in the shower. I don't know, but no, I'm just kidding. It's Vegas. Who knows? I don't who remember. knows? Who knows? I just know I sent the picture. Yeah, you did, but I don't have it anymore, Mitzi. I, I would tell you if I did. Oh, I know you would. I didn't tell everybody else, too. So for our, for our listeners, I think, Sandy, I don't know how many we have now. We might have like 32 now, but some of them just listen and some actually look at the video. So we are talking with Sandy Beveridge. Um, one of the, one of the funniest guys, um, just a hard hitter. Uh, I don't know. Did you ever, when you came up and you saw, you know, other safeties and that hitting, like I kind of went down a linebacker, I played safety. Um, did you take anything away from like our heart, our hard hitting defenses? Like we had, you know, Calvin Tiggles, we had, uh, the Steinhars, we had a lot of guys that would just love up, love to come up and, and lay the wood. And I know you when you got out there, especially on some special teams, and when you got out there in, at safety, I saw I saw a little bit of kind of me and and a lot of the guys. Cause I don't know if you took that where you just thought you had to go out and crush someone because that's how I came into the league. And I don't know. Tell tell us what tell us your thoughts. Yeah, I think all the guys like ahead of me, like yourself, like just ingrained it in us that you know, like if you wear the black and gold, you got to be tough. You got to hit hard. You got to impose your will on the other team. And I'd always kind of watched you from afar. Like, I was a big CFL fan growing up. Any football, really. I'd watch college, NFL, CF, anything. And uh, I remember watching you, and I just thought, like, I was kind of a similar player to, to what you were. Like, I th think we could, you've probably talked about it before. Hated doing one-on-ones. Hated doing one. I just wanted yeah. to roll around back, roam around back there and hit somebody. <laughs> when, when, when I hear them call cover zero, I was like, oh, God, again. No, no. Not, not cover no. zero. Please. <laughs> cover cover one, co cover three, anything but cover zero. I, I just let me roam yeah. around back here and hit somebody. That, that was always yeah. what I wanted to do. But probably very similar to you. And, uh, you know, I kind of. Yeah. That, that that's kind of what I took from it, and uh, I'd watched all those defensive highlights from Hamilton. They'd bring him in sometimes, and you'd just be like, "Yeah, that that's what this fan base wants. This is what I want to be." Yeah, uh, <laughs> definitely similar. De definitely some similarities. <laughs> that's for sure. No, but you, every time Sandy you got in, you made an impact. And Kyle was the same way, right? It was it was Hitch and Kyle and Sandy, and they all spent their time rotating through. And uh, I mean, it, there's nothing better, I think then you know you'll appreciate this rob when you're like a veteran and you see the young guys come in and you don't know anything about them they're in training camp you get to know them but once that that first preseason game comes or a regular season game comes they come out and do something you're like oh yeah. wow that dude yeah. can play and i yeah. and that's what we saw in sandy like we're oh, yeah. this kid this kid can play yeah he can play which is just great. no but cover zero just like no me cover no, cover zero. Zero. <laughs> no cover zero for rob either <laughs> sudsy sudsy used to say come down and spy and play, play cover zero i said i'll play cover zero at 18 yards deep for sure 100 percent. no problem <laughs> what a beauty but 
you yeah. two both, but you know, maybe you specifically, Sandy, you would have had to go up, you know, myself excluded, for, against a really good receiving core in the years that you played. Like, how did that make you better, or what did you learn from guys like Flutie or the guys that you played against? That must have been a really cool experience. Yeah, absolutely. You always learn, like, especially like being on this on the scout team. You're going up against like all the right. best guys all the time, the right? So, yeah. like, when you're backing up and on special teams, like, that's the best time for you to learn. It's not not just scripted plays that your defense is supposed to be able to cover. It's it's plays that the offense is supposed to win on all the time, primarily. And you get to learn from watching them and uh, the different nuances that they do, and you know, like. Well, with Danny Mack going in last last uh, week to the Wall of Honor, which is an incredible accomplishment for him, I learned a lot by watching him because you learn so much by as a safety by watching the quarterback and where their eyes go and how they trick you and different ways they want to push you so they can open up something somewhere else. And I, I just remember so many times being on on the scout team and with Danny, I'd be running the opposite way that he ended up throwing. Like, I'd be running across the field to the left on a crossing route, and at the last second, he would just throw blind to the right, and I'm just like, oh, my God, he got me again. Like, how many more times am I going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, you're making me look bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, please. I'm trying to read his eyes, but his eyes are going to a totally different place than where the ball's going, and I'm just like, oh, man. So, yeah, I, I think those years on the scout team is maybe when I learned the most, like building up to be like a starter eventually when I was backing up Hitch and uh, Kyle for a little bit when Hitch got hurt. And, you know, th those are the times like those extra reps that, you know, once you're the starter, you don't really want to take anymore. You're like a oh, scout team. Mm. Get, out, get, yeah. get out there. Somebody <laughs> else, please. <laughs> but those are the. But you took them. I took you them went, out, I took you them went out there. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So I took them all. And I, yeah. I just I found that those were like some of the best learning times is when, you know, it, it's not exactly scripted the way you think it's going to come. And they make it tough on you, too, because yeah. they try to put you out of position to the plays that they want to call. So kind of work a little bit harder that way. I remember a couple times at camp and I was getting tired and I'm like, Sandy, go in. <laughs> just go in. We'll take a few plays. <laughs> Yeah, but as a, as a as a you know a guy that wants your job, he was like, absolutely, I'll take absolutely. as many oh. reps as I can get. And Rob's yeah. like, I don't care, take as many yeah. as you want. I yeah, until until he starts out. making interceptions and <laughs> yeah. plays. Okay, out, kid, get out, get out. I'm coming back in. Get out, kid. <laughs> get out of here. That's how it works. So you talked about Danny. What you learned? What you learned off, on the field from Danny? What did you learn off the field from Danny? Because <laughs> oh. there's some good lessons to be learned. There. I could specifically. Well, there's a there's a thousand of these oh, memories yeah. I have, but I can specifically remember that night in Ottawa when we had already clinched up the playoffs, and we had remember oh, it was yes. raining. And we yes. talked. Rob and I have talked about this on the show. And we were out at some bar, yes. and we just decided just. And I think you were encouraging it, by the way, Sandy. Yeah. But you, or whether you were encouraging or not, you were part of it. I, we, I, we made you part of it, or you were you, waving the flag. So I can't remember. I, I, I remember this vividly. Yes, tell us your, your you know, I remember he was right with us. I vividly remember this. <laughs> Because I only thought I was playing special teams the next day. So you guys are all going out. So I come along. I'm like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go out or whatever. We're clinched. The, the game kind of means nothing. Uh, I'm only going to be playing, you know, 20, 30 snaps of special teams maybe. So this, get, this night kind of gets away from us. It's just it's going and going and going. And it's an afternoon game the next day. It's a day game, right? Yes. yes. One o'clock. So cold. unknown to me. And I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but you guys played like we one knew. series. So we, I drag my ass into, I drag in to the locker room and I'm like, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh man, I feel bad for these guys. They got to play the whole game. Man, I only got special teams, but I'll be okay. Robbie goes out there for one series and they go, Beverage, you're in. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, you got the rest of the game. I'm like, no, I'm like I still get all the special teams to play. I'm on all four special, Green. all four special teams. Unannounced to me, you're going in for the rest of the game, and then it just starts pouring oh. rain, which was kind of like a savior. Oh. It was kind of a savior because oh. if it was hot, like I don't know, oh, it slowed it down. <laughs> yeah, it slowed, yeah, it, slowed down it down a down. little bit. But yeah, I I, to I totally remember that night very well. We were all out, and we never went out the night before the game. But I was like, okay, well, everyone else is kind of doing it. I'll go along with the ride, and, and we went out. We went deep. Oh, we were yeah. down in the market that night. I don't know what time. I think we were in the market yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I don't right? know what time we got home. 
Yeah. But I, I would imagine because I was dying the next day. I was, I did like, I was like you gotta be kidding me! And no, I was thinking, these guys got it. The guys got to still be drunk. Yeah, they, we there's smelled, no way. We smelled a lot. I know, I know oh for a fact because God. I remember saying, I don't know if you got nicked up just for you. You're out for a couple of plays because they shoved me back in. <laughs> And I'm like, my, I already had the jacket on. Everything was off. My, I had everything done. I didn't even find my mouth guard. I went back in for a play or for a series, I think it was. And I'll never forget it. I guy came across the middle and I bit up. It was a pump. And all of a sudden he ran up the field and they threw it over my head. The guy ran for like a 60-yard touchdown. As soon as he threw the ball, I stopped in the middle of the field. I turned and looked right over my head. I didn't even move. He <laughs> He sprinted 60 yard touchdown. I walked right off like Ozzy does when he gets his team. Walked right <laughs> off the sideline. They're looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, uh, I, I, I was going for the hit. <laughs> thank God. You must have got Nick because yeah. you went right back in again. So thank God I was done. Oh, God, I was done. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to get cut. I, I think I got beat up on a kickoff coverage or something. I had to take a play or two off. Sorry about that, but. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Your your yeah your your thirtieth series your thirtieth play thirtieth play in the in the special teams. Oh my, my gosh! Good time. And believe me, we all know it, Sandy. There's like a hundred more of those. Not not always the day before a game. Don't get me wrong. This is just you know. But going back, but to, there were Dan, a lot of those. Danny nights. was there as well. So yes, Danny. That that's how it all oh, that's how it originated, right? Then uh, just another Danny yeah. story. Yeah, <laughs> leading well, leading the team right? leading the team the night before the game. How do you say yeah. no to Danny? You, you can't say you no don't. to Danny. You don't. So, so you do. So it's like, okay, I guess this is, that, this is what we're doing. Let's, Flutie let's was there with a, go, go. With, with a full wallet of money who didn't spend a dime. Full, <laughs> full, not a dime. <laughs> oh, you know, we have to say, Sandy, um, we do have to congratulate you, buddy. Oh, yeah? You know, yes. you, you don't even know this. You are going to be the alumnus of distinction on Friday. Oh, big game too, buddy. Big Wait. game. Big A. Hey, they win. Big they game. win basically, you know, they got to win. One and hopefully Saskatchewan good. loses yes. and they're in. But you know what? You're uh, beautiful. You're going to be running out the team. Don't trip. Don't trip on the don't thing. Don't do just, Rob's like don't do don't do this the with the shoulders. shoulders. No. Just just be just yeah. It's tough. I don't I can't do it anymore. <laughs> but hey, congratulations, my friend. Uh, Mike and I, have, as you know, we did that yeah. at Labor Day and we had a tandem. It was it was fun doing it with two. Um, you're going to have to do an Oski. We yeah. you're going to have to do all that fun stuff. But you know what? Right. I know you're still a huge part of the organization, but uh, congratulations, pal. That's a, what a great honor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Uh, you got any tips on what to do with that sledgehammer when I bring it out? Or? Oh, I, I, we didn't have this. We didn't have it. It's too heavy for us. <laughs> too heavy. Oh, we're, we're over 50. Smart. Very smart. We had, we Very smart. We had the flag. Too heavy. The too flag. heavy. <laughs> The yeah. flag. That might, that might have been worse, the flag, because it was windy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be just yeah. fine, buddy. You know what I – it's like you, you run out there. It's the thrill of running out there. You know, we've done, we haven't done it since we played. And uh, the stadium's beautiful, eh? From the middle of the field looking around, like that's kind of a cool environment to be in. Yes. It's nice to be recognized. You know what the important thing is? Your family gets to be part of it because yeah, your yes. kids never saw you play. No. My kids never yeah, saw you exactly. play. Hitch's kids never saw you play, which is insane no. to me. What are you going to think to, to Rob? Because Rob's old as dirt <laughs> and he's been yeah. married a long time. But uh, yeah, like that's the those are the experiences that are really really cool. It's really not about us. No, it's about you know the family getting out there. Right? Uh, it's always about us. It's about <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. No. Some things never change. No, no, it's about us. Come on, let's put it to. Come on, it's fun that we're talking about the fans, but it's about us. Come yeah, on, yeah, it's a good time. But you're you're really heavily involved in the alumni, right, Sandy? You yeah, you yes. jumped right in yeah. with Don Ryan Donnelly, and uh, so maybe why don't you tell the fans a little bit about the alumni, what you guys are doing, and how they can help. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm on the uh, board of directors for the alumni association. Uh, we got quite a few guys that are now uh, involved in it, trying to get a little bit younger demographic to do some more stuff around the city. Uh, we help with minor football, help with, uh, we're launching our uh, alumni support fund in which we're going to help uh, former players who have medical issues or, you know, anytime going through something tough in life, we can support them to try to help them get back on track. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And uh it's good for the camaraderie. I, we had a big role in uh, the Wall of Honor dinner. We we do every time, and well, yeah. we help uh, do that. We have our golf tournament every summer, and uh, yeah, we're just raising money to help uh, you know local minor football and uh, and former alumni that need help. Awesome, awesome, awesome buddy. And now you going to the Great Cup this year? 
is that part of the agenda or is that who, who from the alumni goes or is that like a, uh, a, a nice to do if you can? It's, it's a nice to do if you can. Uh, we usually send out at least one representative from our from every alumni association. We have a general meeting there. Right. Uh, whether I'll be participating this year. Still a little up in the air. The weekend's open. Let's just say that. Let's just uh, okay. The week you let, 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 we'll put let's, it in for let's you. see who's there. <laughs> let's see who's there. And we'll get it. We'll put a word for you. We'll talk to Donley. <laughs> and then we're hosting again in uh, next year, which is awesome. Yeah. Right. So obviously, alumni will be a big huge. influence on that, and we'll just have a good time, huge. regardless yeah. of what's going we'll, on. So we'll be a huge part of the uh, the Hamilton Grey Cup and. Uh, I'll be everywhere again as usual, and I'm sure all you guys, you both will be too, and uh, we'll make it quite the weekend, I'm sure. A little bit even bigger than the last one. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that'll be good. Buddy. And speaking speaking with Bob Young on our show about a couple of weeks, a month ago, he, he said that it will be bigger and better this one oh, coming yeah. up. So just because of the restrictions of the COVID. So I'm looking forward to that to see. You know, it was a good, it was it was well put on at the convention center, but it looks like it's going to, sounds like it's going to be a, a, a lot bigger and a lot better. Awesome. So hey, looking forward to it. Me too. Should be good. Well, listen, yeah. Sandy, we're going to get wrapped this thing up, buddy. It was great to see you. Great seeing you. Yeah. Congratulations on the alumnus of distinction. This Friday, Cats got a win to keep their uh, playoff hopes alive. You're an awesome teammate, buddy. You're a good <laughs> friend. We're uh, we're happy you came on the show. Yeah. It's uh, it's always fun to, to – well, we ran into you last week, but to be able to – a blast from the past is uh, – and that uh, knows what it was like to be in that locker room is, is kind of a cool thing. You yeah. Love awesome. it, man. Take care of yourself, and I'm sure we'll see you now. See you on Friday. If Mike goes, I don't think he's going to go unless he gets free tickets. So. <laughs> I don't have it decided yet. It's kind of warm at home. Right, let's I'll see. be there, Take buddy. It. I'll be there. We'll have a ride. I'll okay? probably be Sounds there, good. too. Who are you kidding? I'll All talk right. to you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. See you guys. That's another episode of Maury Alley and Hitch on the Thai Cats Audio Network. Have a question or a comment for them? Email us at mnh at ticats.ca. That's M-A-N-D-H at ticats.ca.